Generative AI promises substantial benefits, but the ultimate impact of generative AI hinges on trust. Companies that are investing in AI that people can trust are seeing higher growth potential and stronger loyalty among customers and employees. In this episode, we're exploring Microsoft's commitment to developing trustworthy AI, and we'll show you these principles in action with the demo. We'll also share some skilling resources to help you apply these principles yourself, so stick around. Welcome back to the Azure Essential Show. I'm your host, Aaron Stark, and I'm joined today by these wonderful people, April Spate and Lena Tay. Great to have you, April and Lena. Happy to be here, Aaron. Thanks so much for having me. We've got an important episode for you today, focusing on something that's at the heart of successful AI adoption, trust. We'll be diving into a demo on to trustworthy AI, showing you both the theory and its application, including an amazing demo of new AI content safety features. And to help you put this knowledge to work, we'll also be sharing very valuable skilling resources that you can use to start implementing these practices yourself. So let's start with the fundamentals. April, could you help our viewers understand what we mean when we talk about trustworthy AI? Absolutely, Aaron. So when we talk about trustworthy AI at Microsoft, we're really focusing on something fundamental, making sure that our AI systems are not just powerful, but also safe, secure, and private. So we're approaching this from two crucial angles. On one side, we have our company-wide commitments, the Secure Future Initiative, our privacy principles, and our responsible AI principles, which are foundational to everything we do. On the other side, we have our capabilities that we build into our products, and those are going to be informed by those commitments. So both pieces are going to work together. They'll make sure that our customers and developers are protected at every layer, giving them the confidence to really embrace and innovate with AI. Got it. Protection at every layer. But can you break that down for us a little bit more, April? What are the elements that make AI trustworthy? So trustworthy AI is going to be built on three pillars, privacy, safety, and security. So the safety pillar, for example, is all about putting our responsible AI principles into actions with tools and best practices. These principles are well established. We've been innovating in responsible AI for many years, and we continuously adapt how we put our principles into practice as new technologies and risks emerge. So taking account to new technologies that are emerging, can you tell us a little bit more about responsible AI? What are these principles and how do we actually put these into action? Yeah, so we have six responsible AI principles, and we strive to make AI that's fair and safe and reliable, private, secure, inclusive of everyone, transparent in how it works, and accountable for its results. So in practice, that means we're constantly building, we're testing, and we're monitoring AI systems to avoid things like harmful content, bias, and misuse. And so these systems, they're both fair and high quality. We build these safeguards into our own software like M365 Copilot, but we also create tools that help other organizations build safer AI applications. These tools help identify potential risks. They're going to be used to measure impact and you can manage them throughout the generative AI development lifecycle. Got it, got it, I see. So it sounds like each stage of the lifecycle has a different focus, but how does the generative AI development lifecycle fit into the wider responsible AI principles that you mentioned so far? Yeah, so these are the essential development steps that we use in our own engineering teams at Microsoft to operationalize AI responsibly. So every one of our responsible AI features and tools falls into one of these phases. So I have an example for a feature that mitigates risk and it's called groundedness detection. So we know that large language models, they can sometimes fabricate information. And so this feature is a bit like a fact checking system that's built into Azure AI content safety. And it even has correction capability. So when a model starts to produce output that doesn't match the source material, this feature can catch and correct those inaccuracies in real time before they even reach the user. Oh, that's incredible. Definitely a great example of mitigating the risks that we know are there. I hear that you also brought a demo to showcase this feature in action. I sure did, Aaron. And so here's what it looks like to detect and correct groundedness in Azure AI content safety. So as you can see here, my application is generating a response that doesn't align with my grounding source. But when I enable correction and modify my question, it revises the ungrounded content in my application's response and provides a more accurate and trustworthy result. This is amazing, April. Less fabrication, more trust in the output. Now, a question for you, Lena. 
given everything that April has walked us through and shown us today in the demo, how can people actually go to start to build their skills with responsible AI? Great question. We have a really great way for people to do that, Aaron. And I'm excited to tell you all about our skilling plans on Microsoft Learn. These plans are curated learning journeys that guide you toward gaining key skills in a variety of AI topics, including responsible AI tools and techniques that April was talking about. What's so great about skilling plans is that it can also track your progress with milestones and you can opt in to get helpful reminders to stay on track. And when you're finished with the plan, you can easily share your achievement with your entire team and on social media. Got it. That does sound very cool. I love that you're able to track via milestones and also share out to let people know that you are gaining skills in this new field. But which of the skilling plans would you actually recommend for learning about trustworthy AI? Yes, of course. I wanted to call out two plans in particular that apply to responsible AI principles. First, we have Evolve with Generative AI. This plan walks developers through everything they need to know about managing and improving their generative AI applications. They'll learn practical skills like working with prompt flow, collaborating through hubs and projects, and integrating fine-tuned models in the Azure AI solutions. The second plan guides you through the process of creating advanced AI applications and using Azure AI and Microsoft Fabric together. You'll learn how to ground your models in the data integrate different data sources, and how to use one link in Microsoft Fabric for retrieval augmented generation. What I love about these plans is that they're both really hands-on and practical to your real life scenarios. Definitely agreed. It sounds like they're both based on the principles that we've been talking about today, but you're actually gonna be building and implementing the solutions as you go. Well, we've touched on a lot today. Is there anything else, April or Elena, that you would like our viewers to know? Yes, for people who are excited to learn more, I encourage you to watch Microsoft's Trustworthy AI video. So this video is going to dive deeper into how Microsoft thinks about trustworthy AI. And you get to hear directly from leaders in the areas of security, privacy, and safety. You'll also get to see more demos of supporting capabilities in action. Well, that's fantastic, especially given how awesome the demos that we saw today were. April and Lena, thank you again for coming on the show today and sharing your expertise on everything trustworthy AI. For everybody watching, we've put all of the incredible resources that we've mentioned to discuss today, specifically the skilling plans and the trustworthy AI video in the description box below. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure that you leave us a comment, hit that like button, subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Thanks again for tuning in to the Azure Essential Show. Keep building amazing things and we'll catch you next time.